Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. For those of you who are first learning Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to quickly create this cool looking dot effect from any type you set. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click on your type tool and choose horizontal type. Go to the upper right and click on the character text icon and choose a font. I'm using Cooper Standard Black. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition your text, click on your type tool, then click on your text and move it. I want to increase the vertical scale of the text, so I'll slide the vertical scale icon to the right, increasing its percentage. You could also type in the percentage as well. To close the text windows, click on the double arrow. Next, go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. When this window comes up, click OK. We'll blur this text by 14 pixels. Remember, depending on the size of your document and font, you may want to adjust this number. We're going to create two empty layers above the dots, so press on the New Layer icon twice. Click on the first layer. We're going to fill it with black. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Hide the two top layers by clicking off their eyeballs and place your cursor over the blurred dots layer. Press Control or Commands as you click down on it. This will make it into a selection. Click on the Channels tab and then click down on the New Layer icon. This will create a new channel. Let's fill the selection with white and since white is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. To delete the selection, press Control or Command plus D. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Color Halftone. We'll keep all the screen angles at its default settings, but change the maximum radius to 18 pixels. You may want to change the radius for your text. The higher the number, the larger the dots will be. Still in the Channels window, press Control or Command as you click on Alpha 1 to bring up its selection. Open the Layers panel and click back on the eyeballs of the top two layers to make them visible. Click on the top empty layer to make it active and click on the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. The white areas of the layer mask will reveal anything we place inside the empty layer while the black areas of the layer mask will hide or mask out everything else. Think of the layer mask as a cookie cutter or a stencil. We're going to place a colorful gradient inside the empty layer. In order to do this, we need to make that layer active by clicking on it. Call up your gradient tool and click on the little arrow next to the gradient thumbnail. I'm choosing a linear gradient, so I'll make sure that icon is highlighted. I'll choose this rainbow gradient preset. Go to the left edge of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag out a horizontal line to the right edge, then release. The linear gradient filled our empty layer with a linear rainbow gradient. This simple but effective text effect can be used with virtually any text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.